Well, this weekend, the Sydney Flames will be part of something very special when they face Adelaide Lightning as part of the Pink Round this Friday night. The game will help raise funds and awareness for breast cancer. I'm pleased to say Flames duo Tiana Mangakaya and Vanessa Panousis are in studios with me. Ladies, it's great to have you alongside me. This is a super exciting and special round. Tiana, I might start with you because this is a cause that's really close to your heart. Mm -hmm. You're a breast cancer survivor yourself. Can you just yeah. shed some light about how this initiative came to, to the front, to the forefront? Yeah, uh, coming into the season, I knew there were special rounds, like we have Indigenous round, we have... Uh, period poverty round and I mentioned it to a, our captain Keely. Oh, it would be cool if we had a breast cancer round and so After that really Victoria came to me the president of the club and it's like yeah We can do it if you want so that's really how it all started So what does it mean for for the club and also to the WNBA? I mean sorry WNBL to get behind this cause for mm -hmm. you as a survivor I mean how, how special is that and how important is it to raise these funds for breast cancer survivors across the country. Yeah, it's really important and it means a lot to me, obviously, because I've been through it all. Um, and um, partnering with the McGrath Foundation is huge as well. They help with providing patients with nurses. And I know when I was going through it, like my nurse was there with me by my side, basically every treatment. So that really helped me. And I know that this is such a great cause and um, I'm really excited for it. Yeah, it certainly is going to be really exciting uh, there on Friday night. Now, Vanessa, I might touch on the club have come out and said that for every three-pointer on the evening, they will donate $350. Or oh, the sponsors, rather, will donate $350 and the club will match that. I mean, you guys better be practising up until Friday. We better be on our game, for sure. <laughs> I mean, we're already told the team that we need to be hitting all our three-pointers that game. <laughs> so then we need to raise a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that is super exciting and plenty of, uh, I mean, this is the last home game as well for fans to get out there. So certainly encouraging everyone to come along to watch the Flames on Friday. But let's chat a little bit about the season and on court. Obviously, not exactly the way you guys would have liked to pan out the season sitting second last on the ladder. Mm -hmm. But let's not dwell on that too much. What have you sort of learned as a playing group in going through these number of weeks of the competition about, you know, you guys as a team and where you can move forward from this? Yeah, just really sticking together and... Obviously, no season is easy um, or it never really goes perfectly. Mm. So I think just learning and growing as a group and individually and just looking ahead instead of looking behind. What about your opponent on Friday night in the Lightning? You've beaten them once, you've lost to them once. What sort of key areas do you need to shut down in terms of their playing group and also to, do you focus in on one player or is it just matching them as a whole? Uh, I think they're pretty even across the board. They definitely um, rebound pretty hard. They like to play in transition a lot. So I think if we stick to our game plan, um, play solid defence, I think we should be OK. And obviously, we showed our resilience in the last game. We played them in Adelaide, where we came back from about 20 points down. So mm. we know that we can do it and we know that we can beat them. Um, so yeah, we just have to bring our A game. How much of uh, training at the moment this week in the lead up to this game on Friday night? Are you guys watching video of the, fight, the last game you played them? Are you watching games that they've played against other teams? How does it sort of work and how do you approach the game plan? I think a little bit of both. Um, obviously, we played them a while back. So watching film on recent games that they've played, seeing if they've added any new offences or new defensive schemes. Um, and then, yeah, just matching that and then making our game plan from that. Absolutely. Now, one of your key players or key stars this season has been Jocelyn Willoughby. She's been absolutely outstanding. She was crowned MVP the other night, the awards evening. Just how impressive is this American import to your team and what she brought? Yeah, she's amazing for us, um, not only on the court but off the court too. I think um, obviously coming away, like so far away from home and just into a new environment, new culture, it's difficult. So I think... She's done a great job and she brings, I mean, she scores a lot, she gets rebounds, she basically does everything for us, so. Does, does she sort of um, a sort of contribute at training, just given sort of where she's come from and the skills that she's learned overseas? Does she bring that and sort of pull you guys aside as well in terms of helping to that coaching structure? For sure. I think with Jocelyn also, um, everyone knows that she kind of leads by example through her actions. Mm -hmm. She's not, you know, the loudest person on the team or one that's going to really vocal, vocalise her opinions and stuff. So... She will pull you aside, like, separately, but she definitely um, leads through her actions. Absolutely. Now, she'll be a standout, hopefully, on Friday night, as well as you two, because, of course, it is the last home game before you go on a road trip to Townsville and then Melbourne. How do you ensure as a team and what's sort of been set amongst the playing group to ensure you finish this season strong? Just to really stay positive, um, we got three more opportunities 
three more wins. So just stick together, stay positive and push through. Great advice, girls. Good luck this Friday night and good luck with the Pink Round. It's such a great initiative. We hope it all goes well and plenty of money is raised for breast cancer awareness. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.